blood gonna drip on him? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. I'm Kobe and this is Cash. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today I am in my little slight Wednesday Adams vibes because it's Halloween season. Uh, I'm gonna watch a few of the classics for Popcorn Roulette that I've never seen. Um, and today I'm gonna start with Friday the 13th uh, because I've never seen it. Uh, I've known of its existence, I guess, peripherally forever. I know there's a bunch of them, but we're just going to be doing the OG, the original. And this year and this October, this Halloween, we have a Friday the 13th. So I don't know if this will be screening on exactly Friday the 13th, but we definitely have one um, this month. So with that, uh, let's get into the movie. Um, I don't know if it's going to be scary or with it being so old, if it's just going to be funny, but for the full watch along, head over to Patreon and let's start. I was like, do I have sound or is it just starting completely silent? Here we go. <laughs> I feel like being scared. I hope it's scary and it still holds up. I get them all super confused. Halloween, Friday the 13th, 1958, okay. But I'm pretty sure it's not all set in 58, so we're doing this and then, then we're gonna Travel forward, I guess. So this was in the 80s. It's hard to see. It's so dark. Oh no, they're all in there asleep. Is this one family or was this like a summer camp? They were all singing around a campfire. Was that just a family being cute or? <laughs> oh, they still are. Just the little ones are asleep. It is camp. <laughs> and marshmallows. You said we were special. I meant everything. <laughs> and leaders are kids too. They'd be like 15, 16, right? Or something like that. 16, I guess. <laughs> hey, look at those shaky cam, the weird breathing sounds. Uh-oh. Is this gonna be the first kill of the movie? Or are they both about to die? We were just messing up. I like that you can't see anything. I mean, you know, there's like no bells and whistles on effects here. It's nothing but the creepy old school sounds ah, and the music. Da -da. Friday the 13th. Well, it was great. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I do know about this. And it's, to be honest, all these references of some of these older ones, I know from Screams. The Screams, I have seen all of them. And I know they talk about, because when he used to call and be like, what's your favorite scary movie, Sydney? Um, you know, they talk about Friday the 13th and Halloween, I think, Friday the 13th. Okay, the present. So I'm guessing so this is the 80s, so it's gone forward 20 something years. But then if a killer is gonna stay the same killer, it wasn't a child that did that. So even if it was a 20 year old, it's a 40 something year old now. Okay. Because like it's the first one, so it has to be the same killer, right? It can't be, it's like in, when you start messing around with sequels and whatever it becomes, oh yeah, but I'm avenging this because you killed this person. But this, I'm guessing, has to be the same killer moving forward from 58. We shall see. Friday the 13th of June! One week before my birthday, the 20th of June. <laughs> uh, excuse me, how far is Camp Crystal Lake from here? I thought that woman had like a breathing apparatus. It's her glasses way down her nose. Blood. They're opening that place again. Lots of luck. Can I get a bus or something? 
She's cute. No sweat, Trudy. The lady with the glasses called it Camp Blood. Never come back again. Oh, shut up, Ralph. It's got a death curse. Oh, so maybe more than just those two that were making out died. Do they call it Camp Blood just for the two murders? Or did that, did the killer go crazy and kill everybody that was there? Campers will mostly be like inner city children. I mean about what happened. Nope. No. Now we'll find out one, because he should say however many years ago. Did Christy tell you about the two kids murdered in 58? Okay, it was just two. He's been up there a year fixing up that place. He must have dropped $25,000. Quit. Okay, so the murder was, the murder was just those two, those two kids, 58. Somebody drowned the year before. Um, and then, okay, then he says like fires, and then he went to open up a couple years later, didn't, and now it hasn't opened till now. So it's been 20. He's just one of my favorites um, as a person. I just think he's rad. I think he's I think he's a great actor, but I just there's something really really likeable about him. Marcia. This is Marcy. I'm Ned Rubenstein. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Thank you. Where are this is Alice. Hi. So shirtless guy here with the denim shorts. This is the this is the owner. Is this the guy that's been doing it up for the last year? Let me give you a hand with that. Thank you. I was gonna say he's too young, but no, he he could be. He could be old enough to have been around from the 58, maybe? What is he meant to be like? I don't know, I'm terrible with ages. <laughs> All right, Friday, I'll we'll give it a week. Wait, is it Friday the 13th now and she's gonna give it till the 20th? Because I thought they said that Friday the 13th when the girl was cycling, but surely Friday the 13th is when it's all, when it should all go down. You think you're gonna last all summer? I don't know if I'm gonna last all week. <laughs> I'll tell Steve that that's a thinner. All right. <laughs> it's supposed to rain like hell, so get as much done as possible. I don't want to get too far behind. Can't tell if that is, um, you know, meant to be somebody standing there or just the camera to give it a creepy feel or actually meant to be someone there. Hi. I'm going to camp <laughs> Well, that's eerie. I feel like if we never see this person, ugh. and that was different car than what Steve got in, right? Because Steve didn't have a. But when you've had a dream as long as I have, you'll do anything. Is she not even gonna make it to camp? Hey, wasn't that the road up for Camp Crystal Lake back there? <laughs> Please stop! Please stop! The old school horror theme. I'm like. Ah! Oh, good jump. The POV stuff like this is actually really creepy. Like it's super basic and it's old school, but it it is it, it holds up. Like it's it's scary. What well, you can't see is always worse. You know, it's like Jaws. We don't see the shark until so far into the movie. All of the opening, the first half, is all like this with this kind of music. <laughs> Oh no, she's gonna die. Ralph was right. You ain't never coming back. <gasps> ah! Creepy. Swift. Scary. And it's the middle of the day. Like, that wasn't even a running around in the dark scene. Middle of the day in the forest. So it's not even personal vendettas, it's not even revenge as such, it's just, it's against the camp itself, I feel. And that's why, you know, it, he's trying to, like, make it cursed in the sense that not anything that happens there is not happening. <laughs> it's so weird, like, that shot just felt creepy in, like, a stalkery way. <laughs> that she who is that she almost looks like um she looks like 
and it's been a minute, but she looks a little like Lori Singer, is it? Like that was in Footloose with Kevin Bacon? But I don't think so. She reminds me of her. Hey, of course, you can I don't know, he's not here. He's around, right around here somewhere. Go ahead, guys, What? Careful, get out. Okay. Yeah. He just went under? Come on, Nanny. Right. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on, Come on. Come on. <laughs> Fake? Practical joke? Fake? 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 <laughs> Not fake! Ah! <laughs> I was like, what is that, a sword? Oh no, it is a knife. It is like a big, what is it? Call him! How do you call a snake? <laughs> <laughs> and still wriggling. Either that or it's got a very short clone. <laughs> is that her? I'm trying to think about Fuller. She was really tall, too. And so is this girl. But maybe I'm just getting her confused. Call it back in, Dorf. Chief wants you back in town on the dump. Roger that. 10 4 on my way out. Oh, I thought maybe they found Annie. We ain't gonna stand for no weirdness out here. Who's gonna be the killer? I'm trying to... I'm thinking too hard instead of just watching. I'm just like, hang on. We know it's none of them because they're all too young. Oh yeah, she's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh! I got to warn you. You're doomed to stay. Go! Ralph! He's just trying to help you guys. Oh, Hopefully he's okay. He gets home safe. Mom Ralphie. He's not the killer. <laughs> Otter? It's so dark on the, in the dark parts that I can't see. Was that an otter? Yeah, these shots, they're so crazy. <laughs> See, and it's not necessarily the killer. Oh, Kevin just cut his grass, took the girl he likes. He might be the first to die now out of the gang. Well, not the chef girl, Annie was. But 88 might be second. Hello? Okay, that was the first time I actually saw somebody. It is scary. <laughs> can I help you? Considering like, you know, there's no effects. It's so cheap to make a movie like this, like relatively, you know, compared to watching Indiana Jones or, but it works. And then this is in 2023. I'm sitting here going, Grr. The rain turns to blood. Blood washes away in little rivers. And the sound stops. Horrible. She says that so nonchalantly. She's like, and then it turns to blood. Hey, hey, this is no dream. Come on, we're gonna get soaked. <laughs> of course, it's gonna storm. There's gonna be lightning, thunder, power outages. And Steve, wasn't he meant to be back after lunch? Where is he? And here I am confident that Kevin Bacon's gonna last the whole movie because he's the most famous person in this. But maybe at this point he, <laughs> in his career, he's so, he's so new that he might not be that much of a star. He might die soon. I hope not. He'll last. He'll last till the end. It's so dark, I can't see. Oh my God! Oh, he's dead. Ew, but oh, he's in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, so they did go into that same little cabin that he went into. I'm not gonna pass go. And these guys aren't worried about him. Double sixes. I get to roll again. Yeah, they were just like, Steve and Marcy are gonna get drenched. They weren't worried about, was it Ned? They weren't worried about him. <laughs> Hurry back, okay? Oh, no. It's getting cold in. Oh, no. More beer? More beer. Mm-mm. <laughs> Is blood gonna drip on him? Is blood gonna drip on him? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I, I really got scared! Oh my gosh, oh thank you, thank you! Oh, I got scared! No! 
Well, there goes that theory that Kevin's going to stay alive for the whole thing. That was awful. That was good. I really got a fright, and I don't think I've been, like, you know, you watch all the modern ones, and I don't think I've jumped or screamed like that. Wait, which one's Jack? Or maybe Kevin's Jack and Steve was the other guy. Sorry, I screwed up when I said. Oh no, 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 no. She's gonna die, any minute. I don't, I feel jumpy. Must be my imagination. Bye, bye. Right, that's three down, only these three to go. I think I left the windows in my cabin open. Uh oh. Bye to her. Wouldn't you just put your clothes back on? They're right there. We need a diner. It's not. Oh, Steve was the. Oh, 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 Steve was the owner guy. Yeah, Jack is Kevin. Oh, okay. That's Steve. Well, what do I owe you? Just a night out the town. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I said you know it. That's okay. Two and a quarter. Well, I feel like it's not him. I mean, he could do a little murder and then get a snack. No. Here's your check, Steve. No, you keep it steady. Thank you. Or it is him. And he's just having a little murder break. That is like the truck that that Annie was in, right? I thought he got in one that had the roof off, and maybe that roof does come off, but that from the them, then him pulling out of the diner, and let's have a look now. Oh no. Oh no. No, it can't be Steve. <laughs> yeah, because Steve's someone that's trying to get it up and running. He's not just trying to get counselors up there to like almost get up and running and then kill them. No, no, it's not Steve. I'm moving on. Everybody's gonna be like, of course it's not Steve. I'm just thinking out loud. Ugh, ugh, that shot, the fingers just moving the curtain. Ugh. It's so simple and so creepy. And is that then toilet block, like where she was just brushing her teeth or whatever, separate to where they, cause that's where they were sleeping before. That's where Kevin Bacon and his girl and Ned all died. But she looked like she was going back outside when she zipped up her raincoat and put her hood back up. Oh, and when I was saying the thing about Friday the 13th, it is Friday the 13th right now. That girl was like, yeah, I'll give it a week and, you know, I'll see to that guy, which would be the 20th, but this is all happening on Friday the 13th, which makes me feel like there's not going to be morning. This is all going down tonight. I wonder if all the movies in the Friday the 13th series all like go down on that one, one day only. That's actually pretty funny. Is that the killer doing like a damsel in distress voice? Help me! Dude, that's a woman or a girl. Right? <laughs> I can't see. I can't hear properly. <laughs> what? Do we just not see that one? And we'll see her body later? What are we just down to just these two? Oh, it's funny that it's so, not funny, but it's surprising that it is still so good. It's like a little classic horror film because it's again, really simple. They're just walking around this one place. They're just getting picked off one by one. I have no idea who's doing it. Yeah, and somebody turned on the lights at the archery range. What? Oh no. Can I come? <laughs> come on then. 
And his shirt, that plaid, like, I know it's not that guy, right? But uh, I forgot to even take notice when that arm scared me that came out from under the bed and grabbed Kevin Bacon, grabbed Jack. Um, wasn't he wearing, like, a yellowy plaid shirt? That arm? Mm. And he's not moving the bodies around, right? Like he's killing them and just leaving them where they are. So Jack and Ned should be dead on the bunks right here. Hello? A cut line. It's that terrifying isolation. Like there's no phone, there's no car, there's no escape, there's, you can't do anything. We'll be laughing about this tomorrow. I promise. You guys are gonna be dead tomorrow. Not bad enough to have Friday the 13th. We've gotta have a full moon, too. We keep statistics. Is it Steve? <laughs> more homicides, more of everything. What's when that shirt moon. underneath? Is that yellowy plaid color? Is that what I saw? Uh, Good luck. So he was gonna give him a ride all the way back to the cabin, back to camp. So does this mean that now Steve's gonna die and we know it's not Steve? Or is Steve like, yes, now I can have a creepy entrance back in. No, it can't be Steve, he was in town and, yeah, it's not Steve. I'm so sorry for my back and forth. I'm so trying to decide. Hello? Yeah, it's not Steve, Steve about to die. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing out in this mess? He knows him. Okay, so it's someone we haven't seen at all yet. And I guess that's what makes it so good in the sense that, like, you're confused because we don't know. We don't know backstory. Something to do with 57 and 58. But we just don't know. Will we ever? Or does he just kill everybody? And then you go, okay. Generator's probably out of gas. I'm gonna check it. Uh-oh. Bye. Why don't you stay here and try and get some sleep? Mm. I'll be right back. Oh, so she's gonna be last. She's last woman standing. Or maybe she dies and he's last woman standing, but I feel like she's gonna be last. I feel like he's gonna get killed out there first. And they're all in this plaid shirt, so it's not helpful. They're just different colors. <laughs> or maybe I just misremembered. Bill! Bill? Oh no, oh my bear. Kevin Bacon's death was the scariest and worst for me. One, because he's my favorite and I love him. And two, just the hand was such a big jump scare. And then the arrowhead through the neck, it was, yeah, that was the, that was the winning moment. Ooh. It's these moments of nothing that really do build that suspense. And you're just waiting for it. Or maybe nothing and it'll, yeah, it'll just go back to it. Him at the generator. Bill. Oh no, it's her looking for him, but okay. Bill. He's behind the door, he's behind the door, he's behind the door. Ah! Okay, so this is it, it's just her. Your plan? Oh, there's a rope across the door. Stop the door opening. I love it when they do all of this and the person that you're hiding from is already inside. And we have seen nothing. It's like, it's better than Jaws in the sense of it waited even longer. We've got nothing. We don't have. So one hand and like a shoulder turning into the cabin before Ned died. Uh. 
I don't want to get scared. <laughs> He's inside already. He's in there. Although then he could have just killed her while she was fossicking around with all this stuff at the door. Is she not dead? Did she just move her head? No, no, she's dead. But she has her back to where that body just came from. I mean, that's, oh gosh. End it. It's not Steve. I'm Mrs. Voorhees, an old friend of the Christie's. Who are the Christie's? Steve Christie? They're all dead. They're all dead. All right, all right. I'll go look. No, no, please don't leave me. It's her. She's in the truck. It's her. And she's just a random character. It's her in the truck. <gasps> and Steve, just before he died, he goes, what are you doing out here? Oh, what monster could have done this? You. Steve should never have opened this place again. There's been too much trouble here. Did you know that a young boy drowned? Her son and counselors weren't paying any attention. I said that. Jason Voorhees. Jason should have been watched every minute. He was my son. So that was her son. She was cooking. And today is his birthday. <gasps> Couldn't let him open this place again. Could I? Oh, so maybe he didn't even die on a Friday the 13th, but that's his birthday, and that's when she kills everyone. <laughs> um, so the two camp counselors that she killed in the very beginning in 58, I guess they weren't even the two that were watching Jason specifically. Annie! Um, maybe they were and they worked again the year after and they were the two or they were just any two making love and so like she said. <laughs> but for the police force, isn't that a perfect suspect? The mother, like a child dies and then a vengeful mother is not a suspect? Like when they're trying to figure out who's killing people. Yeah. Oh, she's crazy! I won't. Oh, she cray cray. And she just killed all of those people, like horrifically. <laughs> Who's gonna win though? I guess you have to have a hero, so like this girl's gonna win. I mean, movie formula, like the killer, this girl should win and the, and the mom die. But I don't know. And the mom is like strong. She's dragging bodies around, stringing up Steve in a tr tree, picking up bodies all over the place and carrying them around. They're freakishly strong. <laughs> until she gets one punch. Come on, girl. There has to be a hero, right? Like a... You can't hide. No place to hide. Get her, mommy. Get her. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I wonder now if we ever saw her in the beginning, like in the, in the diner or something, you know, when Annie was asking for directions. I wonder if she's in there. And that's how she knew that guy could take her halfway, and then she knew to find her walking along that street. Ooh, I bet she's in that scene. Ugh. Sometimes simple stuff is so creepy. <laughs> Gets freakishly overpowered at the last minute. She's left her. 
I guess she thinks she's safe for a second. I still, I still don't know which way it's gonna go. Like this girl could, could die and the mom just win and kill everybody. Oh boy. Mom is tough. She just, she just stab and pierce and slice everybody. She does not care. I don't know. Because if the mom wins, it leaves it like a mystery. Oh no, mom's about to die. Mom is about to get pierced. What? Did she just cut her head off? With the machete? Her head comes off and her little hands go like this. Okay, well I thought that, where are you going? That's the most, that's the only stupid thing that happened in the movie. Off into the pitch black darkness in the middle of the night. Oh, cause it's just a lake. Okay, so she just wanted to stay on that till morning. Okay, all right. I thought she was like headed down a river. We did get a hero. We did get a soul survivor. Yeah, all on one night, all on his birthday, Friday the 13th. That looks very pretty. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my. I was gonna say, what the hell was that? Oh my gosh. Ah! Ew. Oh, I just got my heart rate up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are they all dead? Yes, ma'am. That this is Voorhees is without a head, right? So she... The one who pulled me underneath the water. We didn't find any boy. No, no, that was in her head. Bubbles. Don't jump out at me. I don't want to jump again. Just go to black. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Whew. Mrs. Voorhees. So that's why. Okay. Whew. Oh, man. Whew. Stressful. Um, that was awesome. That was so good and terrifying. And I screamed for real, uh, a couple of times. And it's the middle of the day and I should not be that scared. Um, those jump scares were great. I'm now thinking though, so, you know, I know I'm not going into the whole series at this stage um, um, for this Halloween season. I'm gonna do, like I said, the originals, like some, I think this Friday the 13th, the first one, Halloween one, um, uh, but, it reminds me, like I said, all I know about this movie was from Scream. And so now after hearing her name, Voorhees, the scene in the beginning, is it the very first one where it's Drew Barrymore and he's on the phone and he's like, what's your favorite scary movie? Kill oh, who's the killer? And he does the, the test. Who's the killer in Friday the 13th? And she's like, I know this, Jason, Jason, Jason was the killer. And he goes, wrong. And I remember the line now, he goes, Mrs. Voorhees was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. So there is that bit of information stored in the back of my head, which has not been useful till now. But that makes me think, how does Jason show up now? So he died. So he died 30 years ago. Um, and now he's gonna show up in the sequel. And from my, like from images that you see, like the killer is an adult. So does that mean that he's like a ghost moving forward or he didn't die in the lake, but he's been living underwater? I don't know. So maybe I will have to keep watching because I have too many questions. Um, but that was fun. 
and scary and I feel exhausted now. So thanks for watching Friday the 13th with me for the first time. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That was just fun. My heart is still hasn't settled down. So thanks again, guys, for watching on Popcorn Roulette. And my name is Kobe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.